Space has a magnitude of about 10 to the 43rd power. A 1 with 43 zeros after it. Space is a billion, billion, billion times stiffer than steel. I actually think deism, the possible existence of a divine intelligence, is not an implausible postulate. And I won't argue against it. It could be. Just like the Christians, who don't believe in the multiples of Hinduism, we atheists are no different. We just believe in one less God. But a serious case could be made for the existence of a deistic God. Maybe we're all in someone's computer simulation. Maybe the whole universe that we're in is the product of a purposeful design of an alien intelligence that has put us into some simulation. That's equivalent to saying that it's a grand god of some sort. And I don't have an objection to that. Since there is such a law as gravity, the universe can and will create itself out of nothing. According to quantum theory, there is no such thing as nothing. One should never get involved in verbal questions or questions of meaning, and never get interested in words. If challenged by the question of whether a word one uses really means this or perhaps that, then one should say, I don't know and I'm not interested in meanings. One should never quarrel about words and never get involved in questions of terminology. One should always keep away from discussing concepts. If you can't explain it to a six-year-old, then you don't understand it. I think I can safely say that no one understands quantum mechanics. It is important to realize that in physics today, we have no knowledge of what energy is. I agree that with the general relativity theory admits of an ether hypothesis, as does special relativity theory. Since the mathematicians have invaded the theory of relativity, I do not understand it myself anymore. I consider it quite possible that physics cannot be based on the field concept, in other words, on continuous structures. In that case, Nothing remains of my castle in the air. Gravitation theory included, and the rest of modern physics. I have not yet been able to discover the reason for these properties of gravity from phenomena, and I do not feign hypotheses. I am sure that it is the mystery of non-understanding that appeals to them. It impresses them. It has the color and appeal of the mysterious.